Jason, I don't know what I want to talk about more. The fact that we're about to restore a main cabinet or the fact it used to be a track and field cabinet or the weird reason that there's an FBI warning on an arcade <laughs> cabinet. <laughs> Is this secretly Polybius? Are you doing a Polybius again? <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> this episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by squarespace.com slash rogue. Give it a free try, 10% off. That's a real song. Now I own it. I should license it to them. Hooray! Jason Murphy, you know that when I was in college, I bought a track and field cabinet for $250. Your friend James brutally dominated the leaderboards on it made me so upset that I ripped out all of the guts and I converted it into a MAME cabinet. <laughs> what do we need to know about MAME cabinets? I do know that I believe the MAME project started in 1997. This is back when I had a corporate job. And the idea was to preserve the history of old school arcade games, games that were physically disintegrating, but they wanted to keep them alive. And so there's a whole debate about abandonware versus you know intellectual property rights and all that stuff, none of that matters because we're only going to restore this main cabinet to play the game it originally played, track and field, which even then I believe is illegal because you're technically supposed to scoop your own ROMs. So you spent 250 bucks on this cabinet. Where did it come from? There's a place called All About Amusement in South Austin. And in college, you know, 250 bucks was a lot of money, but it was not an impossible amount of money. And the idea of buying my own arcade unit was electrifying. So we bought this one. Eventually the board stopped working. And so we converted it into a main cabinet to run a bunch of other games. Legally speaking, we converted it into a main cabinet just so we could play track and field. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and it worked beautifully until a couple of years ago, somebody plugged something in during a shoot. We heard an amazingly loud pop and we saw smoke come out of the back. Oh. We've not touched it since. Do we want to inspect the current status and I, figure oh, out how to fix it? I'm hoping that there's not some sort of, like, are there going to be dead animals back here? Is Squatting Joe's corpse, did he somehow get- <laughs> Squatting Joe! <laughs> did he somehow get sealed up oh inside my God. the cabinet? How great would it be if one of the production crew, like, snuck in a full skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> we open it up, it's like, well, no, Jeff sleeps in there to stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's find out. Get ready. Yep. Oh dear, it's very big and heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's bigger and heavier than I remember. Oh, it's a beast. Oh. <laughs> Why is it so heavy? Probably because oh, the tube. of the actual tube CRT. Yeah. Oh, these things oh. weigh like sixty pounds. I spent an entire summer teaching magic at a camp, and I spent all $3,000 I made that summer on this one monitor. Is it a 21-inch uh, Sony Trinitron? It's a 21-inch, but it's not Sony Trinitron because it has the bulbous form. Oh! Bul bulbous form? Yeah, oh, no, that's yeah. a word. Yeah, no, Bulbasaur. <laughs> yeah. I like Squirtle, but so, sure. Oh, man, these are old-school computer speaker monitors oh, wow. that are plugged in and go to the audio part. I didn't know how to do it, so I, I just <laughs> built all of this. I put these brackets in, carved out this stuff, and then put the 21-inch monitor in there. I hope it works. Oh, oh my, God. my God. And this looks like oh you just kind of crammed it in there and then, like, get in. Okay, well, good well, I mean, it, it can sit up straight, but that was when I was putting a back on it. Also, oh my God, I forgot. I put a CD-ROM drive in the front so that you what? could- What? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a real sentence I just said. Okay, so everything is dusty, but it's mostly here. This computer apparently exploded. I say we just pull everything out. Yeah. Are you still going to try it? This appears to still work, okay. but it's so ancient. It's 1995 VGA, which, which by the way, all of these sound like bad things, but if you want to simulate the experience of an authentic old school arcade game, one of the moments that made me the most sad in Stranger Things was when I was able to tell that's definitely a flat screen inside of an emulator. That's not an actual tube. This one is not only an actual tube television, but on top of that, MAME has configurations that allow you to simulate various like aperture grills, RGB configurations wow. and all that stuff. It looks amazing. Anyway, hopefully this works but all of this I think is dead. And a lot of this is actually 
pretty hot commodity on like the collector's market because- Is it? Oh yeah, like you can't spend 250 bucks and buy a track and field anymore. You were a little bit ahead of the curve as far as like collecting arcade games goes. Now it's relatively common. And so getting an arcade cabinet off of eBay can be much more expensive than it used to be. I believe it. And finding a good CRT that'll work and fit in something like this. I mean, this. fingers crossed. We'll find out on that one. Here, let's yank everything out. Okay. I can't believe, for some reason, this computer from, oh my God! It belongs in the oh museum! Oh my God, that's the processor. Look at the processor. It is totally covered. <laughs> it's completely encased. Yeah, that's bad. That's all bad. This is an antique. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna guess that we're not gonna do anything with the CD-ROM drive <laughs> up front. <laughs> There's a fair number of places and are still kind of, what was I thinking on this? There are uh, some cable management fetishists okay. <laughs> that are crying right now. Good. They're so mad at I you. I hope you're very upset. <laughs> <laughs> Having full on panic attacks. I'm just now realizing that the reason this box is here is so I could prop up the corpse of this open beast. I realized that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh yes, my oh. craftsmanship. <laughs> okay, so this ribbon we could tuck in. We don't need to care about the ribbon. This guy, oh, get this. This guy goes, is twisted together here uh -huh. and eventually connects to the motherboard. Why do you think that is? What do you think that guy was doing? I, do, I don't know. That's the power switch I put on the front of it. Oh! so that you could press it. Oh, of course. And internally, it would turn on the computer in there. That's actually clever. Okay, so... I, also a fire hazard. <laughs> I'm certain yes. everything is very dangerous. Yes, indeed. Oh. Uh, cereal bowl in there. What is... what? People are thinking you mean like the cereal cable? No, he no. means a literal cereal bowl. <laughs> There's a cereal bowl in there. Why? Uh, part of the reason this fell into disrepair is because I have three children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they grew up with it just being on all the time. I make no excuses. I hang my head in shame. <laughs> Hold on, this is more kid. I think one of my kids was, Jesus Christ. I, th I think one of my kids was using this as a hidey hole. <laughs> what is this? The fourth Brushwood daughter was just <laughs> found living in the back of the arcade. Father, you what have is, come. What is this? Oh, oh. Is it a map to One-Eyed Willie's treasure? Oh my God. That is an email printed out from 1997 explaining how to set the dip switches to change the difficulty and settings on the original track and field. Oh, wow. 623.97. Holy hell. That's ancient. Yeah. Wow. Okay, holding on to that one. Let's see. What is it? It's literally like a, <laughs> an ancient map. <laughs> oh. <laughs> off off is easy, on off is normal, off on is hard, on on is difficult. Audio attraction, oh my God. So this part, do you remember this type of attachment? That looks like a PS2. Correct. I don't know why, but I believe PS2, Bryce, why are PS2 still around? Uh, it it, ghosting, you get less ghosting. It's the only way to play SSX. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Brazil. If I remember correctly, the controller that I got was from a company called Hanaho at the time. So it's got both a pass through, like you have a keyboard, but it passes through and then it remaps all the joystick controls onto a keyboard. Oh, right. And you can control all those stuff. And then this is the pass through, I believe. So here, if you'll hold those, I guess first thing is we should Clean everything up. Oh, God. I'm just now realizing that I guess everything is just on one hard drive. This is where all the MAME stuff is. Oh, crap. You gotta figure out how to, oh, what? <laughs> I was about to say we have to figure out how to get it out, but apparently oh. past Brian is a lot like current Brian. I was, God, just... I was about to say that. <laughs> I was just about to say that. It's like, what? <laughs> the Brian that did that cable management didn't put the hard drive in there appropriately? <laughs> <laughs> Brian so, of the 90s cutting corners? <laughs> the devil you say. Oh my god. Get ready. <laughs> Look at this. 
This is better than when Geraldo opened the vault. <laughs> First thing we have to figure out is if we have any equipment that can number one, run MAME. I assume anything made <laughs> newer than this will be able to do it. Uh, yeah. And we have this older, this used to be the switching or streaming computer or something. The doghouse systems made first years ago. Ooh. It is dusty. All right, here. You wanna take a peek inside. Ugh. Oh my God! Yikes. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> you got Mogwais living in here and stuff, man. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. All okay. right, go for it. <laughs> probably should have been outside. Probably should have just left it out in the rain. So these guys are DVI ports. I know there's some kind of DVI ports. Everyone's gonna get mad, that's fine. But I know there are some kind of DVI ports that can do both analog and digital. I think these are those types. And okay. we have an adapter, but if it doesn't work, then we could try moving that ancient video card over into the sky. <laughs> we'll see. Technically, we shouldn't put this inside until get we know running. whether or not it works, right? Okay. So yeah. let's plug it in and use the adapter to see if we can get any imagery on the monitor. So in theory, if the monitor works, if the PC boots. <gasps> Did you hear that? Wait, what was that? I don't know, there's crackling happening. <laughs> I don't like it. Could you take a peek? It should say invalid sync. Whoop. Oh, I don't like all that clicking I'm hearing. We're not getting anything on this end. Okay, well, let's see what happens when we power this up. Oof. All right, you ready? I am ready, do it. Okay, well, it looks like we... Oh, there's more dust coming out. Oh, it looks like a signal went because I heard the thing just click on. Oh, what? Doghouse systems. Oh, we... yep. It's actually, it's, it's, it's for reals booting? Yeah, awesome. it's totally a starting Windows. Okay. We are on the desktop now. Already? Yeah, your Windows 7 PC is out of support. <laughs> yeah. I've got a USB to PS2 adapter. I don't know if it needs drivers or not, so we'll see what happens when I plug this in. There we go. Does, has anything happened? Can you, can you, do you have mouse movement? I have mouse movement. You have mouse movement? Using the trackball. Okay, now, hold on, let me get the old keyboard. One thing before we shut it off, because now we have to figure out whether or not the MAME HD still has the main stuff on oh, it. Oh, because we haven't even connected the hard That's drive That's correct, yet. yep. This joystick controller is a pass-through, so theoretically, when I plug this guy in... And we have keyboard input. Yes! Type, 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 yeah. type. Okay, all right, now, click on the, the power button and shut everything down, because next up, we have to see if we can boot with the, with the hard drive. Oh, I know there's a couple of data drives on this old beast. I don't know what's plugged in and what isn't. Well, you know what? I'm gonna guess we don't need the DVD drive anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to, I'm gonna yank the power from that okay. and the data cable from that. Ah, good call. I'll attach. Okay, it looks like we've got the right connectors there. Yeah, this is apparently an old enough system that's replacing the old system. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it here for now, but let's just assume the drive's gonna work. Okay, all right. Could you type just C colon and hit enter? Done. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God, it says MAME for arcade PC. I think we have it. I'm gonna hit MAME 64, see what happens. This publisher could not be verified. Yeah, sure, run it. What, what could go wrong? Wait, it's installing updates. <laughs> <laughs> that means that the last time I used this, I was putting off updating. Mm. That's not good security practices. So let's do this. Let's kind of twist this halfway. We'll tuck this guy in and then we'll turn it the rest of the way. So everything is attached right now? I think we're good, yeah. <laughs> Boot it up. You have the con. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Give it a second. Uh oh. Give uh it a second. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. I heard a beep boop. There was a beep boop. Did we mess things up just by moving it? Oh, come on. 
Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely not at all attached on the video. <laughs> oh, that'll do it. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> there's your problem right there, man. You got a possum living in this track and field machine. Oh. Ooh. That was a familiar CRT sound. Okay. All Can right. We get so. It? Oh, here we go. This will forever be out of date. <laughs> yep. First thing is to remind me later. <laughs> then, in theory, the joysticks map to various letters and words. Oh, are these not plugged in? They have to be. I don't know why I insisted that. Uh, <laughs> so the mouse part of the controller seems to work. Yes. No? You've got the keyboard behind you. Or I say we just go for it. We go straight for okay. the big win. We know it's on local disc F. Mm -hmm. We should plug in the speakers. Oh, okay. Plug them in. We'll see. Who knows? I love how he makes me do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! Oh. Baby, 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 baby. Maybe we should plug in the keyboard now. <laughs> With the little man. Oh, it feels like coming home, Jason. <laughs> T R A C K, track and field. <laughs> By the way, this is the end of a Sharpie I was about marker to say. that I stuck onto the volume knob that I put up in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, oh, we are made whole again. Oh, you have to put quarters in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. The controller doesn't seem, oh my God. Penelope Ray Brushwood still has defeated Brian Allen Brushwood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it has all of the high scores. What a wonderful time capsule. So, it looks like the keyboard part of the controller is not really doing much for us. Because if we are to hit one or two... Right. Let me try swapping that out. Okay. What is it you're doing? The way it's supposed to be is this is built for a PS2 mouse and a PS2 keyboard. Right. And this is a pass-through device for the keyboard. It seems like the pass-through device is working and the keyboard is working, but none of the keyboard parts of this controller are working. So, number one, let me make sure that I'm not accidentally passing the pass-through, right, basically. Right. Okay, so this one right here is what? Attached to the, the keyboard? Yep, that's the keyboard. Okay, so let's do this. What happens if I plug this in to the actual PS2 port? I assume in theory it should show up as just two different keyboards that can work in time with each other. Okay. So keyboard is currently plugged into the PS2 port. Correct. Uh, so this guy is the one not talking to anything. So is your pass-through bad? We're not using the pass-through. So, so oh. far we've not seen anything happen here that is congruent with this working as a keyboard. So, you know what? Also, I have no... Okay, so wh whichever one oh, we have we plugged in. That? Yeah, okay. okay. So you gotta put it back into the USB. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we have a mouse again. We do not have this keyboard. So the pass-through maybe doesn't work. Do we just have a random USB keyboard? That seems like the easiest solution. Okay, so let's completely remove the PS2 keyboard. Okay. And replace it with this guy. So, in theory, an HID human interface device is about to be attached and it should immediately start working. And we should be able to... No. Well, we have power here. We do. Control Alt Delete. Hey. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that gives us. <laughs> you know what? I think it might be this USB adapter. Okay. So what if we stick to a USB keyboard and instead I take the mouse and plug that directly into, into the, the PS2? PS2. Yeah. yeah. What? Why is everything not working? What? Have, have we tried turning it off and turning it back <laughs> on? I mean. Okay, so we figured out that the speakers work. Yeah. The computer's replaced. Mm -hmm. The hard drive is good. That means the archive of only track and field and no other games is available. Absolutely. <laughs> but Hermetic. The mouse part of the keyboard seems to work, but none of these guys are showing up as a keyboard. I suspect there'll be a little bit of work to get in there and find some kind of corroded wire or something. You think in this with separate it, with, piece. Yes, correct. Within this mouse and keyboard combination. So question, this was not the original oh, control no, 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 panel no, 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 for no. the track and yeah, field. Yeah, no, I sawed all that off and I put this one in. The keyboard part seems to be having trouble. At this point, I'm willing to put in the work and figure out exactly how to get everything rewired on this, but I'm ready to declare a win. 
and play. We'll just play with the keyboard. Once you get it fixed, you can post it on the shorts on the Modern Rogue channel. Perfect. I have no idea what the keys are to play. Uh, <laughs> let's do input this game. Adjust your brightness until the track okay, and field so logo can barely be seen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Player one, button one. Remember, there's three buttons. There's left, right, and jump. Oh, right, because okay. you go yeah, yeah, yeah. and whatever. So I'll use the arrow keys, right? You be player one. Okay. You think an A, S, and D maybe? Okay, yeah. So A and then button two. I'm going to hit this and then you hit S. Mm -hmm. There we go. There it is. Three. You hit D. Yep. There we go. And then I'm going to do player two, button one. I'll hit go. It'll be left. And then button Would two will be up. And then button three will be right. Get set. Okay. So now. At this point, because it's a emulator, it needs to know that coins have come in. So we're going to simulate coins coming in with, there and we now go. we're going to play a two-player game. Okay. Now you go first. Now remember, there's left, right, and center. So okay. right, you would go right all the way to J. There you go. I'm going to do. Oh, is this your jam when you were a kid? Yeah, there we go. Okay, all right, so I'll do. Ryan, Alan, Brushwood. Okay. <laughs> On your mark, get set. Yeet! Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> did we both qualify? I think we did. Qualify 16. That means we both go on to the next one. Yeah. We should really stop the episode, but I kind of want to keep playing. I just want to just. Oh, oh that, that's all you. That's all. You. Don't forget the middle one to jump. And then mid. Oh, hell. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then you got to hold it down. Oh, oh nice. Ah. Six, six, six. Yes. You got it. You got it. You got it. No, I didn't make it to six. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Whatever, this game's uh, always yeah, sucked. I've never liked it. Dumb. No, it's fine. What a waste of time. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> we'll post updates as we continue to restore everything. Here, no, go for it. Go for it. Go oh. for it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Middle. Oh. You hit escape. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I think you all tapped out of it. <laughs> oh my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Bryce, which website could bench press the most? Well, it would need to be a space with some squares. Wait, why? Because that's what it's gyms a, look like? It's a strong shape. <laughs> it's a strong shape. <laughs> None of this rounded edges no. business. No, these strong spaces are square. square. Hey, bro, you think we got all the way to these award-winning designs by being soft? Hell no. Bro, you need a Squarespace, bro. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue. Let me see your flex, your brand identity abilities. <gasps> Let me see your incredible messages grow and expand across the world. <laughs> oh, take advantage of them video bomb turning into a copyrighted character. <laughs> Get your message out to the world. Have pages that load fast and look beautiful thanks to our friends at Squarespace. They got these video blocks that make pages load fast even with embedded YouTube videos. They got members only sections so you can speak to your hardest core fans. They have everything you need to go from nothing to world domination. Oh, That's probably not a good... Yeah. <laughs> Squarespace.com slash rogue is where you go Go to give it a free trial. And of course, you're gonna fall in love when you do sign up. Make sure to use promo code ROGUE at checkout. That's R-O-G-U-E. Get 10% off. Keep us in business because apparently we're gonna have to hire a lawyer. Oh, yeah! No, no, you can't tell yes, sister. Dear. No, no. That's the worst Mr. Burns impression I've ever heard. Volcomania is going crazy in town. Just say dope so it's clear it's parody. Dope. There you go. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. I've, I've been slowly convincing Allison that it's, that she's gas lamping. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gaslighting her into believing the phrase is gas lamping? Yeah. Oh, that's next level. That's pretty good. <laughs> you should have told me that. Ha 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 ha